Have you been able to make head or tail of the major trends that are happening in business? It seems rather confusing, and I suppose the jury is still out on so many levels and so many issues. On the one hand, I continue to see and hear about those who are optimistic about technology and its potential to radically change lives. On the other hand, there are those who are, are far more pessimistic and fretful. Those, while they still want to do business, they, they tend to worry about issues like privacy, security, and the darker side. And who's to blame them? At some level, it's positioned as if it's a confrontation between people and machines. I've just recently published a new book called Artificial Empathy, Putting Heart into Business and Artificial Intelligence. And one of the fundamental principles I have in this book is that it's actually about people and machines. It's about being realistic, responsible, and real. Certainly, I tend to put the, the emphasis on the human side, just like I, I really believe it's about being employee first, before even being customer first, to say nothing of being digital first, like so many companies are wanting to be. Artificial empathy may seem like a topic that is futuristic, but I believe it unveils some important topics and truths that business leaders and executives need to be addressing now, especially those who want to stay ahead of the curve or those who are working in digital transformation or programs to be more customer centric. One friend told me that the most important gift of the book was the wake-up call that it gave to him about his own self-awareness. My hope about artificial empathy is that it encourages all of us to strengthen our empathic muscle. And in the process of trying to establish our ethical framework and to encode empathy into machines, we may learn a great deal more about ourselves and why we can all just be a little bit more empathic every day.